everybody, it's Claire back with another art journal video. Um, I'm working in my large dilutions journal, seem to do that a lot. Um, just adding a thin layer of gesso to the pages. Um, it's going to be another Christmassy page today. It's going to be stockings on a washing line. So once I've added the gesso to the page, I'm then um, going to get an old gift card and just start scraping some colours onto the page. Um, of course, it's got to be rainbow colours, so started off with ruby and then tangerine, lemon and then uh, lime and uh, sky. I was only using little bits of paint. I didn't actually dry the colours in between, but if you wanted to be certain of them not going muddy, if you were using more paint, then it would be a good idea to dry them in between so that they didn't mix together. Um, I was just trying to be a little bit careful about where I put the colours and as you can see there isn't a lot of paint really going down. Um, this is magenta and then I used a bit of blackberry. Um, once you get that blackberry on it really pops. So then I went in with this, uh, I think it's a dilution stencil and um, using some buff. Um, and just adding a little bit of stenciling just to try and blend in those dark purple areas because they kind of did stick out a little bit too much. Although I liked them, I didn't want them to be the main feature of the page. This is an Art by Marlene stencil um, which I recently acquired. Shh, but don't tell anybody. Um, and this time I'm just using a bit of white and I was only going to put it in a few places but I really liked how it looked so... I got a bit carried away and ended up putting it all over, as you can see. But actually, I quite liked how it looked, so that was okay. Uh, then I just got a piece of printer paper and um, drew a stocking shape. And um, I wanted my stockings to all be the same shape and size, so I decided I was going to use that as a template. This is a piece of mixed media paper and um, so I'm just roughly drawing around it three times because of course I'm going to have three um, three stockings hanging on the line. Then I added some paint to uh, each stocking so this one's ruby and then I did one that was lime and the final one <laughs> guess is going to be blackberry. Yes purple I do love purple. So once they were dry I cut them out and then just testing them for size to make sure that they weren't too big for the page and this is just a piece of um, like garden twine like a bit of brown string um, and I just stapled it in at either side where I wanted it to go. And then I just did a little knot at either end just to stop the string pulling out through the uh, staple. And then I used a bit of uh, PVA glue just to glue it down in the middle. I did actually, um, once I put a bit of glue on, I did heat it for a while, as you can see with the heat tool, just to so it was a little bit, it had gone tacky and it would stay in place and dry properly. So once I'd done that, I set that aside and then I decided to add some patterns to my stockings so this one was going to be a stripy stocking and I used some uh, white paint and just added some stripes. I did have to uh, go over them a few times because it wasn't opaque enough. As you can see, there we go. And then the uh, purple one, I decided that I was going to use um, a Dina Wakeley star stencil and um, some of the DecoArt shimmering silver paint. And with a makeup sponge, I just applied the paint through the stencil 
Um, again, I had to do this a few times so that the uh, stars were nice and bright and the purple wasn't peeping through. I'm just going over the white again just to make it really opaque. And then this one I used a Dina Wakeley penny and um, a circle stencil from Tim Holtz. I think it's called Dotted. Um, there we go. That was that one. I think of the three stockings, that one's my least favourite, but you know, that's okay. So then I decided I wanted to add some sparkle to the top of the stocking like a cuff. Um, so using the embossing pad, I just um, kind of wiped the pad on the top of the paper where I wanted the sparkly embossing powder to go and then tipped the powder on, heated it up and, and cut it out. It was quite easy really. I've never really done embossing like that before. I've always used a, stem, a stamp <laughs> a stamp with it, um, but actually this was really easy to do and created quite an effective little cuff for the stockings. And then just putting the excess back in the little pot. I do love it. I love watching embossing uh, powder changing when you heat it up. It's so cool. There you go. You can see just sticking it to the top of the stocking. And here they go. I do love the little bit of sparkle at the top. So then just deciding uh, where to stick them. And arranging them on the page. Um, then you're just using, I'm just using an ordinary black pen. Um, and just doing a bit of scribbly, some scribbly lines on the stockings. Just outlining the stripes and the stars. And then I will outline some of the circles as well on the third green stocking. I'm just keeping the lines quite loose and scribbly. Not particularly bothered about them being neat and tidy. And then I felt that the stockings kept getting a bit lost on the background because it was quite busy and bright. So I just created a bit of a wash using Dina Wakeley's Night paint, just added a bit of water, just to sort of darken that background a little bit. Um, obviously I didn't want the colours to disappear completely in the background, but neither did I want the stockings to get lost. So. I think it kind of worked. I mean, I have lost some of the colour in the background, but I'm okay with that. That's fine. So I stuck them in place using um, a glue stick. And then I decided, oh, actually this, then I used a stubble oil and just added some shadows to some areas on the stockings. Then I decided that I would um, make some holly leaves to hang them up with, like holly leaf pegs, and stuck those in place. And, and then it was time for my quote. So I started adding my lettering. The word Christmas was going to go at the top. So kind of like I've done this before, you work from the middle letter, put that in the middle and then work outwards either side, which goes to plan as long as you don't get muddled up with which letters go where. She says quickly checking that she hasn't misspelt it. <laughs> but I think it's all good. I do love writing quotes and words on my art journal pages. Um, for me, it's a really important part of my art journaling. And quite often I find quotes or words and phrases that really echo what my journal page is about. Um, sometimes that can be deep and meaningful, sometimes funny um, and sometimes just topical. So that's what this one was about. And I didn't realise until I'd finished how ironic it was really that the picture was of stockings hanging up and the quote was about this Christmas being the spirit of giving without a thought of getting because when we hang stockings up it's because we're hoping to get something in them. So then finally I used some Liquitex acrylic ink in titanium white and a splatter pen, pen, a splatter, <laughs> a splatter brush, a fan brush, oh my days, a fan brush and added some splatters. So here's the final page. I hope you've enjoyed watching the video. Thank you very much for watching.